Hi, I'm Lily Kinder from the Bates College Women's Rowing Team. I'm a neuroscience major and a member of the class of 2022. And I'm Navar Naimi and I'm a member of the Bates Men's Lacrosse Team and I'm a history major. I'm the class of 2023. And, and we're, we're bringing, bringing Bates, Bates athletics, athletics to you. Grass open for three, a high anchor, got it! Live from Garcelon Field, O'Brien picks it up in transition. Feeds Ustava, underhand shot and a score. And your 2019 NCAA Division III Women's Rowing National Champion is Bates. Behind me is one of the most historic gyms in the country. Alumni Gym opened in 1928 and is the perfect place to start our tour because it is the best home court advantage in the NESCAC. In transition, the alley-oop! Oh! Throw it down! And they turn it over! Bates ball! And the crowd going wild at Alumni Gymnasium! Welcome inside! There's so much history in the rafters of Alumni Gym, showing off our tradition of excellence. All three programs that call this gym home have made multiple NCAA tournament appearances. Our women's basketball team often talks about alumni magic. And when our men's team advanced to the Sweet 16 in 2015, they went undefeated at home during the regular season. Recently, athletics restored the floor to give it a sharp, modern look. And oh yes, the crowds are on top of you. Opponents hate playing here, but our teams love it. Alumni Gym is connected to the Gray Athletic Building. We call it the Gray Cage. The Gray Cage is a multi-purpose indoor facility with nearly 27,000 square feet of practice space for when our teams need somewhere to get work in when it's a little snowy outside. Because yes, it does snow in Maine. There's a lot of history here as well. The Gray Cage used to have a dirt floor and Bates hosted track meets in the facility before the construction of Merrill Gymnasium. We also use the cage for a variety of events, including our celebration of National Girls and Women in Sports Day. For the next stop on our tour, I'm gonna to toss it to Navarre, who is across the street on Campus Avenue Field, home to our field hockey team. The Campus Avenue turf field was built in 2000, and in 2016, athletics upgraded the surface with the same turf used at the Field Hockey World Cup, the first of its kind in the United States. Field hockey is the oldest women's varsity sport at Bates, established in 1967, five years before Title IX. In 2019, the program won its most NESCAC games ever and finished ranked 19th in the nation. As we make our way over to Merrill Gymnasium, let's stop next door at Leahy Field, home of the Bates baseball program. Lily is there now. Thanks, Navar. Bates has played baseball since 1872, and our current field is dedicated in memory of the legendary coach William Chick Leahy. Behind me is the indoor batting cage, built in 2014. Leahy Field is located across from our dining hall, and on game days, the fences are lined with fans to watch our Bobcats play. In 2019, Bates Baseball set a new program standard for NESCAC wins in one season, finishing an impressive 9-3 in conference play. Navarro is waiting for us at Merrill Gymnasium. Let's head on over. Welcome to the Walt Slovensky track inside Merrill Gymnasium. It's a 200-meter, six-lane track, and this facility includes a throwing circle and four tennis courts. Fun fact, you are looking at the site of the first NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships, hosted by Bates in 1985. And when it comes to Bates track and field history, it lives here, with plaques celebrating more than 200 combined All-American performances in 21 NCAA championships. Speaking of All-Americans, we're heading across the hallway to Tarbell Pool. Built in 1980, Tarbell Pool is home to Bates men's and women's swimming and diving teams, as well as club water polo. Tarbell features eight lanes and an underwater window and can be configured into 25 meter or 25 yard lane lengths. And just like our track and field program, the swimming and diving teams have produced All-Americans hand over fist with more than 200 All-American honors and three national runner-up performances. The sim room in Merrill allows Bates' golfers to practice indoor when weather, daylight, and winter do not allow. The room features a full hitting bay with a foresight launch monitor, several varying hitting mats, as well as a 15-foot long putting green. Team members are able to even play rounds of golf and scoring games on the simulator to help sharpen their skills. The golf team's home course is Martindale Country Club in Auburn, Maine, 15 minutes from campus. The old Donald Ross design course features dramatic elevation changes and one of the more unique golfing experiences in Maine. 
In the summer of 2019, Athletics created a new updated space for sports medicine on the second floor of Merrill Gym. The space includes state-of-the-art equipment and allows for student athletes to have the space they need for performance improvement, injury prevention, and rehabilitation from injuries. In addition, the sports medicine space on the first floor of Merrill Gym was redesigned for pre-game and pre-practice athletic training needs for our student athletes. There are also spaces in Alumni Gym and Underhill Arena for team-specific sports medicine services. Speaking of Underhill Arena, Navarre is there right now. Behind me is Underhill Arena. Completed in 1995, features a 200 foot by 85 foot ice surface used for Bates intramural and club hockey programs, skating classes, and recreational skaters. One of the coolest recent changes to our facilities was the addition of the modular turf system in Underhill. Used by venues including Olympic Stadium in Montreal, this system is the first of its kind to be installed into a NESCAC school. The turf floor remains until the ice service is reapplied in October. Then it's reinstalled after the hockey season. This creates an additional 17,000 square feet of indoor athletic space for the Bates College community, making Underhill a year-round multi-purpose facility. The Davis Fitness Center is on the second floor of Underhill and is one of two dedicated strength and conditioning facilities on Bates campus. Measuring in at more than 4,700 square feet, the Davis Fitness Center is accessible to all Bates students, faculty, and staff. Recently, Athletics added a 45-foot by 15-foot functional training turf, new Matrix Fitness mega power racks, adjustable benches, and glute ham machines. Just behind Underhill and Merrill is the Russell Street Field. When spring arrives, our track and field teams thrive here on Russell Street track. In fact, one of the most memorable moments here happened in 2012, when our men's track and field team hosted and won the NESCAC championship. This eight-lane biradial track features a Mondo Super X surface and wraps around the home pitch of the Bates women's and men's soccer teams. That home pitch was recently upgraded with the addition of an entirely new bluegrass playing surface sourced from right here in Maine. Just a discus throw from Russell Street track and field is the home of Bates softball. Hit up the middle, might do it. A runner coming home, the Bobcats win. Built in 2001, Lafayette Street Field features enclosed dugouts and an outdoor batting cage. Our softball team has rewritten the program record books in recent years, most notably breaking the team record for wins in one season in 2018. One, two, three, three. Now, let's take a loop back over towards the center of campus. Down a short path from Underhill Arena is the Wallach Tennis Center. Tennis is one of the oldest intercollegiate sports at Bates. But the Wallach Tennis Center is state of the art, with all eight courts using the same surface as the US Open. The courts have lights for evening play with room for 500 spectators and an observation deck for coaches. Wallach was constructed in 2000 and was the host site of the 2004 and 2008 NCAA Division III Men's Tennis Championships. Speaking of NCAAs, our tennis program has produced 33 All-America honors and a pair of national champions, one in singles and one in doubles. Navarre is waiting for us across the street, and you won't want to miss the next stop. Believe it or not, Garcelon Field, smack dab in the middle of campus, hosted its first football game in 1899. That makes it one of the top 10 most historic venues of college football. In 2010, the field received a major facelift with the addition of a field turf, lights, and a new grandstand, press box, and scoreboard. And in 2019, the football team played its first ever home night game, defeating its fierce rival Bowden 30-5. Second and 10, Costa throwing down the near sideline. Hayes has it! It's a touchdown! Of course, it's not just football that brings all the attention to the center of campus. Our soccer programs play select games here as well. As a lacrosse player at Bates, this is where I spend a lot of my time getting after it with my teammates in this beautiful setting. In recent years, both men's and women's programs have made the NCAA tournament. Welcome to the postseason, Bates! And in 2017, the men's lacrosse team went undefeated during the regular season, advancing to the NCAA quarterfinals. I remember streaming these games from home and watching the team's historic successes. From being featured in Sports Illustrated to landing at number one in SportsCenter's top 10 plays of the night, Garcelon Field has received its fair share of media attention through the years. 
And our Bobcat teams have produced quite a bit of excitement here as well. He's going for the end zone. He is in. Touchdown. Nobody picking her up. Sanford puts it in. Bogue's going to get to the goal. She chips it across. It's loose to pillow goal. Finding the middle. Malali and again Bates is beating up on the Cardinals. Hits it forward again. Skimmed header. It's trapped. And a goal. In the 89th minute, as the stands are shaking at Garcelon. It's time to go from one crown jewel of Bates Athletics to another. Welcome to Green, Maine, less than 15 minutes north of the Bates campus. We are on the shore of the beautiful Androscoggin River, known as the Skog. This is where our national championship rowing teams compete and train. I'm so proud to row for Bates. This team is full of love and support and welcomes people that love the sport or people that want to begin rowing. Our teams and coaching staff are amazing and create a powerhouse team. And this is the Traquina Boathouse. Completed in 2016, the boathouse was fully donor funded by 50 Bates families who collectively contributed more than $2.7 million as part of the Bates campaign's goal to catalyze student success. The rowing program's list of accomplishments is quite long starting with the women's team making history in 2015 by bringing home the college's first team national championship. Then we did it again and again and again. Fun fact, as a league, the NESCAC has won 116 NCAA Division III national championships in 19 sports since 1999. And Bates' 2017 national title in women's rowing marked the 100th national championship claimed by a NESCAC school. Then, in 2018, our men's rowing team became the first NESCAC crew to compete at the IRA National Championship Regatta, where they towed the line against the heavyweights of Harvard, Yale, and Washington, among others. The men's rowing program has produced a pair of Olympians as well, including Canadian gold medal winner Andrew Burns. Pretty good considering rowing only became a varsity sport at Bates in 1999. Another program that has quickly established a tradition of excellence is Varsity Squash. Welcome to the Bates Squash Center, located less than 10 minutes south of campus. Built in 2004 and renovated in 2014, this is a six-court facility that includes LED scoreboards, exercise equipment, and the feature attraction, our glass court, where the top players from each team square off with fans and teammates watching from all angles. The squash programs routinely finish among the top 20 in the country. And in 2015 and 16, Ahmed Abdel Khalik took bait squash into the stratosphere with back-to-back -back individual national championships. Our squash teams compete at the highest level of collegiate squash, and our ski teams compete at the highest level of NCAA skiing. For more on them, here's Lily. Sunday River is northwest of the Bates campus in Newry, Maine, and home to our alpine skiing program. Its vertical drop of 2,340 feet is the sixth largest in New England, and every year the Bobcats host the Bates Carnival here. Recently, alpine skier Dinos Lefkaridis from the class of 2019 became the 12th Bobcat to compete in the Olympic Games. Pineland Farms is a beautiful 5,000 acre working farm less than 30 minutes south of campus. In the fall, our cross country teams train here, but when the snow falls in the winter, our Nordic skiing teams take over. The Nordic teams host the Bates Carnival at Black Mountain of Maine, which is a little more than 30 minutes northeast of Alpine Skiing's home of Sunday River. The Nordic skiing team has produced three of Bates' 12 Olympians, most recently Haley Johnson, a biathlete from the class of 2006. We finished this virtual tour right where we started, outside Alumni Gym. For more on Bates Athletics, make sure you go visit GoBatesBobcats.com. And for more information on how to apply, head to Bates.edu slash admissions. Thank you so much for joining us, and remember, it's always a great day to be a Bobcat.